Hi there guys. guys! This is not video like any other that we've made until now. <laughs> we're going to taste food. We are going to taste we're food. We're tasting food. As you can see, we've got plates. We're at the ready. We've got a knife as well. Oh yeah. In case you're interested. Knife. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not going to taste any normal food. What kind of food are we going to taste? We are tasting vegan food. Fast oh. food. Vegan fast food. So let's make a point here. I never ate anything vegan. Maybe I tried some vegetarian from Carl's yeah. stuff. Vegetarian but stuff, yes. Ricardo's vegan. definitely tried. Vegan. Never. Because vegan is like, you gotta have the vegan mayonnaise, you gotta have the vegan cheese, you gotta have the whatever vegan else. Everything. Vegan. <laughs> vegan everything. <laughs> And it's to got to be, be cooked vegan as well. And to be fair, I've always gone against veganism. I don't condemn people. With this video is not to go against vegan people, but it's actually to try it out because I try to keep my mind open. I want to actually see if it's good or not. I've always thought that we're crazy vegan people. But this time I want to try it and see if they're actually crazy or if there's uh, some truth in that. And I like vegan stuff. Well, okay, so when I say vegan stuff, it's like vegetarian stuff. I've never had no. things that are like proper vegan, like vegan cheese. I've never had vegan cheese because I'm like, why would I want vegan cheese when I can have real cheese? So it's not normal food, but it's fast food. Yes. So we're eating vegan fast food. It's we went to KFC, Burger King, McDonald's, Subway. Taco Bell, Subway? oh Subway, yeah. and Taco Bell, but Taco Bell didn't have anything vegan. No, so. they had vegetarian, but not vegan. Yes. They had like a bean wrap, but the cheese wasn't vegan, so we couldn't get it. Yeah. Shame, because that was actually would have been the cheapest one. Probably, Actually, yeah. no, Greg's was the cheapest. Oh, that's just wrong. Okay. Into it. What shall we start with? Let's start, start with, with Greg. Greg's is the first place we went. So this was one pound. Oh, it's so I man. have had this multiple times because Did you? I've had this so many times. Why? Because I don't want their sausage rolls. I want their like fake ones, don't I? Why would you want the no, fake okay. ones? Because I don't eat meat very much. Yeah, but a sausage roll is normal. It's not that bad. I never. Do, when do I have sausage? That's a sausage roll. I don't eat meat, so why would I have a sausage roll? But it's a sausage roll. It's not like it's not even real it's meat. So, I yes, feel it like. is. I, exactly. I like that's even more reason not to have it if it's not even real meat. Fine. It's just like squash fine, stuff. Fine. Let's try. What do you think? Tastes exactly like a normal sausage roll. I think it's because it's really, really salty. I don't know if the normal sausage rolls are this salty. I don't think they are. Not that I've had one, but I'm assuming that they're not. Yeah, but then it's all in your mind because that means you could have the normal sausage roll because this one tastes exactly the same. But I prefer it. How, see, that, that's what I mean, then, like, as in I don't mind. like. The, I don't like sausage rolls because you get all those little disgusting bits in it and they're disgusting. That's what puts me off. In your mind? It's not in my mind. I oh, eat this. it. It's like those chunks of like disgustingness. I eat that in sausage rolls and it makes me feel sick. You know why I would say that that is in your mind? Because if you were to eat this and the real one blindfolded, you wouldn't tell them apart. Wow. And you would not feel would. sick. No, you would not. Can we try that? We'll put like a little story on Instagram. We'll go one day to Greg's and we'll get the both of them and you will try blindfolded. We'll see. Yeah? We'll see. We'll do that. We don't need to finish it, do we? Oh, I did. Oh. I'm hungry. Shall we rate it out of 10 or 5? I feel like 5 is a better number. I don't think it needs any rating. It's literally just like a sausage roll. I wouldn't go to Greg's and get a sausage roll. Either vegan or normal. Why? We don't like sausage rolls. It's not that I don't like it, but it's not like something you just go for it. Oh yeah, I definitely want a I sausage roll. I don't know. Roll. People, like, I feel like people do go like, I want a sausage roll. Oh, maybe English people. And I want a sausage mean. roll from Greg's. People do that. Well, Fine, Ricardo good. doesn't want to rate that one. He's got no opinion. No, it's like, no it's a opinion. sausage roll. We're talking about vegan foods. Fine. It's fine. It's eatable and... Eatable. It's edible. It's right. I like your new word. You've created eat and edible together. It's edible. It doesn't taste disgusting and probably is healthier. So can we try the most horrible ones that looked horrible? Yes. Okay. I'm really interested in this one. So this is McDonald's and this is the one I wasn't looking forward to the most. This is £3.29. And look what that is. And it's four sure. veggie dippers. That's it. For £3.29. It looked disgusting from the picture, so we'll see how it is. We've got the dip, vegan dip. Well, I don't know if it is vegan. I assume it is. Why would it not be vegan? Sweet and sour dip. Cheers. Bing. I mean, it's okay. Not terrible. No, it's just not exciting. I, it's just really expensive for what you get. £3.29 for four veggie dippers. You know, I thought it would have been worse. Let me try without the dip. 
boring. <laughs> mm. When like, you get the aftertaste, it's even better. It tastes like some kind of foreign food, like Indian or something. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's because it's got the spice in it. But these are the only things that you can get at McDonald's mm -hmm. that were vegan. You couldn't get anything else. This Nothing is it. else. Yeah. Imagine you're a vegan. You go to McDonald's, that's all you can get. Nothing else. You will starve. Mm. I like them. Would I buy them again? No. I would probably buy that again. Well, it's like a snack though, because this is yeah. like a full on snack. This is not going to fill anybody. A healthy Imagine snack. Imagine buying this as a meal. You'd be starving. But I mean, it's a healthy snack. Instead of getting the chicken nuggets. 321 calories, in case you're interested. I'm surprised, because whenever yeah. Ricard I offer Ricardo to try things, that I have that are like vegetarian. He's like, mm, no, thank you. <laughs> Hold it right there, lady. You made me want to try the fake mincemeat. That is disgusting. That looks like rabbit poop. Would you give this one a rating or are you not going to rate this one? Yeah, I can rate this one and <laughs> out of what? Five. Five. Oh, you're going to give it a five? <laughs> five. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll give it a five there. I Vegans really enjoyed it. Or McDonald's. McDonald veggie dipper, veggie dippers. Veggie. Thumbs up. Oh look, it even says vegan approved on there. Yep. Vegan approved. Tasty. It's all fasty work this, isn't it? Where did we go next? We went to KFC. Because KFC, KFC. was like the longest, weirdest line ever. So KFC, I was excited to try this one because I have seen it on those big advertisements. 11 herbs and spices, zero chicken. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look very appetizing. I think I'm gonna like this thing. So is this actually vegan? Yeah, vegan. There we go. It says it on the side. Vegan. Finger licking vegan until you add non-vegan stuff, obviously. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Separated in half. I did look at what this is That's and I think it literally is just like a corn burger. Corn fillet burger. It looks kind of dry. It looks really dry. Okay, let's try. Okay. I like it. Mmm. Are you going to say anything now? Literally this has taken Ricardo two minutes to even say anything about this. Unsurprisingly, I would give it a five again. I don't believe it. To be fair, right now, honestly, if we were going to KFC and I was going to order burger, I will go for this one right now, rather than mm. the others. Is he converting? <laughs> no, I'm not going to become a vegan. I'm a meat eater. Convert, right? convert. <laughs> right? A meat eater. But... No, well, I guess it's good. Because I like whenever it. I offer you, like, things that are But you like, offer me meat. the rubbish ones. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Like, my burger, my seven-bone burger, when we go to the burger place. And if I get a, veg a vegetarian burger and I offer it to you, Oh, no, no, I don't want that. Right, you comparing a seven bone burger with a veggie burger. Obviously, I'm going to go for the seven bone burger. I'm not giving it to you to eat instead of that. I offer you a bit of it. I know, but no. I, don't, I don't want to mix the taste of the amazing seven bone burger with the veggie burger. Does that make sense? Okay. There All you right. go. Can I finish mine? Yeah. It's got the southern fried kind of chicken taste, doesn't it? Because it's got a bit of spice in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, how much was this? Three ninety nine. I want to say that one to last because I think I like that one the most. <laughs> so we're not gonna go for the subway. No, we're kind of going for the subway, but I think it'll be my favourite one, so I want to save it to last. Um, I'm gonna go for Burger King. Burger King mm -hmm. next. Okay, bit of a cheap thing. I did look at Burger King online beforehand because I wanted to see what places we could go to that said like vegan stuff. So Burger King actually is not officially vegetarian or vegan because they cook the burgers, the vegetarian vegan vegan burgers, on the same grill that they do a meat burger. Which is pointless, so, like, why would you do that? Yeah. What's, what's the point in giving an option for vegan or vegetarian when you know you're cooking it along with the meat? That is just so, unfair. We, we wanted to try it, wanted to give it a go. There were two options, though, that we could go for. Yeah. That were vegan. There was, like, this burger, but it didn't say what it was. No. It was, like, a burger. It, it was on the option where it said, like, veg veggie burgers, but still, it doesn't tell yeah. you what it is. It just has a picture. Um, so we went for this, like, veggie bean one. That it did have the cheese, and we asked for it with no cheese. We didn't actually check to see if they didn't put cheese in. And there is no cheese in it, so that's good. Oh wow, it's quite full. Three to one go. These are the kind of burgers I don't go for, because they're not my favourite. Tell us your verdict! It's not terrible, but... Try, like, with the, just this, because mm. that is, like, the, the main part of it, really. They are, like, the dippers from McDonald's, but in 
a burger form. I feel like I have to give it a three because it is tasty, but I need to detract two points for cooking it with the meat. But it's kind of tricking you because you don't actually know that unless you were to look online. You don't know. Oh, really? Way. Well, the only way I knew that was by looking online and researching like places before, and it it said Cheeky. that they're not actually vegan, like or vegetarian. So nothing is vegan or vegetarian. But to be honest. If you look at these ones, it does say like vegan and vegetarian, officially approved, and on this it didn't say that. Okay. So they're not technically lying. And while Coral finishes her Burger King fake vegetarian, this is going to be meatball meatless. Meatless meatball marinara. Oh, so funny thing about this one, we asked for it, and then he goes, do you want cheese? And we said yes, because, you know, we were thinking it's going to be the vegan cheese. Well, because on the picture it says vegan cheese as yeah. well. Exactly, so, um, and then you put cheese on there, and I said to Ricardo, he definitely just put the dairy cheese on there. So we asked the people and said, is that vegan cheese? And they're like, no, it's not vegan cheese. It did look a little bit sad though when he then plonked these two little tiny vegan cheeses on there. <laughs> but they made it up by whacking a load of gherkins in. I hope I've got <laughs> the one that's got the most gherkins, Ricardo. Last one, cheers for the win! Boom. I would not get that again. It tastes weird. Mmm, I can tell what it is. It tastes like aubergine, parmesan aubergine, aubergine, that's what it tastes like. If you just have that meatball, it's really dry. Would I go for it again? I don't know. I feel like I would. I'm saying I wouldn't, but I feel like I would. If I was hungry, when I was in Subway, and I didn't want to have tuna, then yeah, I probably would go for this. I think there's too much like tomato sauce in there for me. We also put the vegan garlic mm -hmm. alio stuff, didn't we? Can't taste that. Okay. Can you? Yeah, I got it. That's oh, quite it good, actually. I really wish I could just like eat the cheese. Bastard cheese. No, don't like vegan cheese. It's just slimy. Verdict on that one? I would say four. Yeah, I would go four too. I'd even say three. Do you know what? My favourite one was definitely the KFC one. 100% KFC, KFC was one. really good. I thought this was going to be really good. And that was it. Ricardo, that was it. the official person who complains every single time I have something that's not meat, yep. has now officially eaten things that don't contain meat or yeah. dairy. So yeah. that is quite an achievement. Very first time and I'm impressed, I have to yeah. say. I did not expect at all to like all of these things. So let's say, guys, if we get roughly 100 likes and on this video, we're going to try to eat vegan for an entire day. Don't forget to subscribe to this video and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below which one, if you've tried it, which one was your favourite or which one you think looks the best. Okay, we'll see you on our next uh -huh. video then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.